Hi everyone, this is Nick Peters. And this is Allie Peters. JP isn't feeling well today, so we're stepping in to do our own special. That's right! Today we'll be making one of our favorite recipes together. What's it called, honey? It's called the Generic Fundy Atheist Biography. We've all seen those, right? They are so formulaic. <laughs> yeah, if you read one, you've read them all. Great! We'll need to start with a really big bow. Like this one? Yes, that's perfect, Princess. Now, our first ingredient is a fundamentalist childhood. We got one of those on the shelf? Yeah, here it is. Okay, now we add in several cups of ill-equipped pastoral advisors and Sunday school teachers. We got enough of that? Here's a whole bunch of them. I asked them about whether Horace was similar to Jesus, and they told me to just have faith. Excellent. Toss them in. <laughs> Next, we have some great disappointment in early adulthood. Well, I have a cell phone here that one of them prayed to God for and didn't get. Eh, that can happen. But let's go for one that's more serious. Give this book more crunch. How about this one? God not healing a family member's serious disease. Okay, we'll use that. Now let's see. Oh, this would be a big one. We need some major example of a problem of evil and God not stopping a disaster. World Trade Center? Nah, let's go for an old-fashioned recipe. Toss in the Hindenburg exploding. What else? Okay, it says here we need anywhere between 10 and 20 common claims of Bible contradiction. But we can add as many as 100 for serving a lot of people. Hmm, it might be easier just to throw this in. Skeptics annotated Bible. Hmm, yeah, why not? What else? Read them off. Let's see, a fall into sin with corresponding guilt? Three overbearing fundamentalist friends or relatives. And last we need... Oh, bear, let me handle this one, princess. The last ingredient, 16 boiling hot cups of seething outrage. And there you have it, folks. One generic fundy atheist biography. <laughs> Ew! We forgot to add in something to make the cover picture look nicer. Oh, that's okay. We're just turning around on the bookstore shelves.